Holy smokes. I was like looking at these horses and then I scoped this guy out. Dude, look at his back. R.I.P. son. Christ, man. What'd you get yourself into? Here. I could interest you in bounty work. The poster's on the wall. Lord, that's good. Thanks, Chief. It's frozen hell in this place. What do we got here? I reckon our cells garnered more dust than any other town. Ninety dollar reward for the apprehension right. or death of Elias Green. Oh, can shoot on sight. Hell yeah. Anyway. He is wanted on warrant for murder and mutilation on settlers. Six settlers near Manzanita Post. He is a member of the Skinner Brothers gang and is considered extremely dangerous. Last seen in the Great Plains area, green is stocky and wears animal skins, bear hat, and buckskin shirt. Alright. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner Brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for them, if you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive. But sure as hell, I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. The mountain country's full of Skinner brothers. You tell me why this one, Elias Green's got a warrant on him. I'd send you after every last one of them jackals if I could. Reason this one's got his picture up is the mayor signed off on it. That's that. What did he do? He perpetrated or was one of the perpetrators of a massacre. Party of six. Killed and then some. We have his name, we have his likeness. You have his warrant. I do. I'll see about him, sir. I'll see what I can do then. You gotta bring that one in stiff, then so be it. Just bring him in is all. All right. Give him my best regards, will you? Oh, will okay, you? Missy. All right. Here for that sturdy, stinking varmint. Collect this bounty. Slow now. Should be right around here. Where's this fool hiding? Like this. Hello? Elias Green here. Nothing. All right. That's fair. You've had your fun, son. Now it's time to turn into the law. <laughs> oh, they're fighting. Kill him! Please, please. Oh, 
No, he's a nice kid. Let him go. <laughs> Damn it, Elias. <laughs> Let him go, but... Take his hair first. No, no, no! <laughs> Chief said he wanted him to hang, so I'm gonna do just that. Shut up. Seems I caught me a wriggler. I'll cut you. I swear I will. Oh, wait up, wait up, wait up. We wanna loot this fool first. Let's get you up. I'm gonna fight you. You better damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make you into a hat, mister. I'd love to see you try. <laughs> You don't got any objections. What's in here? All right, let's take him back to the station. Time to go. There you go. Now let's get you to Blackwater. Water police. All right, we made it. Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green is a living breed. God damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. man ain't worth spit but here's what we're paying for him 90 bones baby it's only fair you don't go after these bounties I'm gonna have to there's another poster gonna be up right quick come back for it sounds good chief <laughs> Jesus Lord Looking for a man by the name of Otis Skinner. One of the leaders of the Skinner Brothers and their gang. He is wanted for murder and is suspect and several others carried out by the group. These men are desperate and have been causing mayhem throughout the state. Age believed 48 years, bushy beard with gray blue eyes is quick in his movements. 
last seen in the tall trees reach. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Skinner. I do believe your time is up. Is that him? That might be him. Their skin is should be staying close by. Dude, these guys are fucking savages, man. What happened here? Quick! Stop them! They came for Otis! You just by Mr. Skinner. Won't be worth what I'm gonna do to you. Yes, we'll see about that. Listen, is it okay if I rob you? Trying to talk. 
Talk me to death. All right, Mr. Skinner. We're done for. Good work today. Oops. I got Otis Skinner here for you. God damn, get him in the cell already. Ain't this a charming little jailhouse? <laughs> I'll be comfortable enough. Ah! God damn, god damn. You're done for, sir. I got your bounty money here. Honest work for honest pay. You should know there has been a cessation in the issuance of bounties in Blackwater. Apparently we have the budget to build a city, but not to protect one. <laughs> Merely the police chief, yeah. Come on then. Cheers, mate. See what old uncle wants. Wake up, you old fool. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like. Rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town and oh, I, got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. What? Charles Smith alive? Really? Charlie I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all and. By the sound of it, not doing too good, neither. Oh, no. Damn. It's good to see all the classic friends. <laughs> Get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the saloon. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons? And you take the slums. Yeah. Hey, partner! Ah, Sandani. Hustle and bustle of the U.S. immigrant life. Oh, 
Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, turns out. <laughs> We both know what you gotta do. Dude, he's fucking weird. <laughs> What's up, boy? How you been? He don't know the half of it. John? <sighs> you're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So? Let me go place a bet. Come on. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. I guess I'm supposed to bet against, right? You know what? I've seen him in better condition. I'll bet against him. I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my Dude, left, get a, spot, a ferocious <laughs> battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. You know what to do, Senor Smith. my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Next time, bet on a friend, mister. Sure. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Well, I'll just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. <laughs> I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. How much money this did we lose? Oh. Uh, guess it didn't really my matter. My on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? <sighs> Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Damn. I had to run. 
What a homie. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. Nice. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. <laughs> well, he wasn't a good man. None of us were. I don't know. Maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> that pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. He was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. Hmm. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know... He ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah? I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or... Since before I got off Sisica, what can I, I picked do up for Strauss. Him? The agents made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Oh, damn. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths, Micah? Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Okay. Uh, Shit. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> So far, the further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back... Remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking uh. of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. They remade the bridge. Shot at. Well. They weren't very good shots. <laughs> Come on, Ooh. let's head for home. <laughs> There's a sign on it, huh? San Denis. Damn, Strauss didn't squeal. That guy was damn a homie in the end. <laughs> Did Charlie Boy during Mrs. Grimshaw and Arthur? True, <laughs> true familia. <laughs> Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? 
boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two-dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. <laughs> oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. <laughs> now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around hey, the horse. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Good horse this way! It's coming! <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. <laughs> Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Whip. <laughs> Of you. <laughs> Fools. I 
That's it. in town to meet Sadie Adler. work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I'm bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. <laughs> Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of I course agree. we do. Howdy, friend. Come on, lady. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Another excellent mission, Mercedes. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. <laughs> My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north, or gone off somewhere else, or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. What the heck is going on? I ain't so good with people. Ah, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. 
the Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But... Not now. Come on. Outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. <laughs> I mean, Satan's crazy too, you know. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. I'm just saying she has a high there's a high probability she just might kill this. <laughs> this is the place. It's a view alright. This is a great view. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. The chill. here in that town. They'll be there somewhere. I think I see something. Yeah. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the fellow who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat fella with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Come on, let's go follow him. Back on your horse, let's get after them. All right, girl. You the slayer. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Ahead. We can get a better look at them. 
You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. Nice. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men, and you work alone? I got you. You're worth ten of them. <laughs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Threaten the gang, shoot the gang. Make up your mind, John. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll scatter right away. I'm going over here. Okay. We're not supposed to kill them, right?
Yeah, yeah. You with her? What's it look like? Ride or die, cowboy. Or cowgirl. <laughs> Damn, those mountains, though. Beautiful. Let me go! I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. <laughs> Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it! You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> How did work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there... You didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. Oh, Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. I'm definitely down, Sadie. At least one or two more, please. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Nice. Skinner man still here too. That's funny. Just put him on the bed. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Right. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. <laughs> here. There's a she's... decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like how the police chief just laughs. Too? No, I'll uh I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay. Jim Milton. <laughs> it's 
John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Good night, my lady. Damn, that was a nice cut. Damn. Yeah, at least she's honest though. But yeah, I liked how the police chief just was like You're laughing. Good, like, Ooh. Bison. Legendary bison. Still ways off, I reckon. Somewhere, but where? Still fresh. Ooh, where to go? Oh. Now, nearly there, I bet. Legendary Tatanka bison is native to Hennigan Stead in New Austin. This bison can be recognized by its short black hair and thick light gray hair around its hump and head. As a herbivore, it grazes on grains, hay, and corn. Long range weapons like a long scope rifle or a bow with improved arrows will give you the advantage when hunting this animal. Killing this animal will give you the opportunity to craft a rare trick. Yeah. Damn, well, I'm really glad that we get to see. All the people Arthur was homies with coming back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here. Thanks for watching part 31, and I'll see you guys for part 32. Peace!